Hi, today we're going to take a quick look at running Photo Transit on the iPhone. I'm just going to start up the app and by default it will place you in Royal Greenwich Park in London and you've probably seen enough of the, from the screenshots in the App Store that you know that the camera pin is where the camera is situated and the subject pin, this one here that I just moved there, is the uh, position of the subject in your photograph. By default, the app will start with uh, a camera and a lens already defined. You can add your own and I'll show you how. It's a 35mm full frame SLR and the lens is a 24-70mm to zoom. You'll see the first time you run it that it asks you whether you want to include uh, some analytics information on how you're using the app. We use that to see which features you use, which you don't use and help improve it. So I'm going to allow that. There we go. And uh, you can use this slider below the map to control the zoom and you'll see as you widen towards 24 mil the triangle gets wider as you zoom in it gets narrower so that's reflecting the field of view of the camera this particular lens and camera combination and you can tap there to see what the the field of view actually is at the current focal length of just under 36 mil and it gives you the field of view and angles there if you if you need that data so very quickly how to add your own camera go to cameras Go plus. I'm going to add a. Uh, I have a Lumix uh, GX1, and that is a micro four thirds camera. So the critical thing you have to do is set the sensor or the film size. If I tap here, it has a big list of predefined formats, including medium and large format. I'm going to search here for micro, and there's micro four thirds. So I select that, I click save, and I'm done. So there's my Lumix GX1. And you'll see the tick beside it shows that it's selected. So the lenses, um, I can add, let's have a look, I'll add a zoom. So uh, 14 to 42, which is one I have. And so there's a lens. You don't have to give it a name. It'll get a default name if you if you don't choose to, to enter one. So that's how you can set your own cameras up. Um, I'm going to switch back to the 35mm. The lens there, there's the 24 to 70. I can add more lenses. I can add primes if I want. And then up here on the top left, one of the key things that helps you explore the app and really understand what it can do is uh, the projects uh, window. You can define your own projects here. And uh, by default, we'll get a sample project with some example shots in it, which we'll have a look at now. So it may ask you when you run this for access to your photos, and that's so it can save the sample reference photos in, into the device, and then you can look at them within the app here. And let's go to... Mount Sneffels, and I'm going to tap this button on the right, and that will show me the shot here on the map. Camera and subject. Um, I can zoom up here, and I can tap the graph to get elevation and altitude profiles. I can double tap to see the vertical field of view of the lens. Swipe down to get rid of that. If you want a little more screen space, you can also swipe down here on the, uh, the, the green bar, the, the zoom slider bar, and slide up again like that. That's particularly useful on smaller smaller screen devices. One other thing you can do, this fourth button down gives you access to Google Street View. So then you can explore what the view actually is like from that situation. Looks like a bit of a gloomy day. I can also zoom in and the horizontal field of view is pretty much what you'll get with the camera and lens combination. So that's that's dynamic. And I can toggle that off again. Also, back in projects here, if I tap the other button to edit it, you can give it a title, a reference URL if you like. There's the actual photograph, which is one that we took a few years ago um, at this exact location. And you can have notes, which you can tap to edit or tap up here to edit and then tap in and type. So there we go. That's sort of the quick overview. So you have the map, you can search for locations. So let's search for... New York, uh, there's New York, New York, and I'll set the camera there, and I'm going to go there, and there's New York. I can reposition the subject, zoom in, and then I could add my own project um, and save that as a shot. One other quick thing that you'll want to know about. For controlling the camera, you can go from landscape to portrait and back with this button here. 
And if you are using a zoom lens, uh, you can click here and you may want to add a teleconverter. So I can add a 1.3, or well, sorry, 1.7 teleconverter, 1.4, and you'll see the field of view changes to reflect that or none. So that's uh, camera controls for locations we talked about, cameras, lenses, settings. Uh, have a look through settings. We've got some nice uh, quick start guides here that will help you understand the basics of how to use the app and links through to the website where there are lots of tutorials. There are video tutorials. You can get in touch with support directly here. And the last thing I'll show you is here back on the map screen at the top right is the share window and that lets you share the details of any shots you planned with all sorts of different services. You can email it, you can save an image, you can open it in TPE if you have that, add to the calendar, etc, etc. Lots of options there to explore. So that's Photo Transit on iPhone. Uh, if you have any questions on it, you can contact us at support at phototransit.com. Hope you enjoy using the app and we look forward to hearing from you.